This transmission is starting to get to be a never-ending saga. I so if we go underneath, you'll probably see this right away. There's been a lot of grinding. See that nice shiny thing? That's one of the nuts that holds the, or yeah, one of the bolts that holds the uh, transmission on. Yeah, you can't really see it, but basically, transmission's locked. So I dropped the uh, pulley, and these two nuts just fell out. They weren't even screwed in anymore. Look at this one. That is crazy. So, literally, I don't know what happened to the other one. Literally, there was only one screwed in. Explains my vibration issue, I think. Unbelievable. All right, so it's a couple days later. Um, I uh, obviously was going to have to either buy a new transmission, which would set me back about 200 bucks, or I could learn a new skill. Uh, so I decided I was going to learn how to uh, drill out and re-thread uh, uh, bolt holes. Um, so I, I contacted a friend of mine that I thought might have uh, the particular kit I needed for my uh, 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 transmission. I needed uh, bolts that were M8 um, and then uh, the length, I believe that's what it is, 1.25 uh, fine thread. And, uh, you know, well, busy guy. Uh, my buddy wasn't able to get back to me uh, in time, so um, I just decided to buy my own kit. So it just came in the mail the other day, and I got the uh, Harusty. <laughs> I don't know, if I, I don't know how you pronounce that. The Harusty Professional Tools 131 piece thread repair set. It's basically helicoil without the name. So um, it's got a couple sizes 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Uh, let's pop it actually comes in a pretty nice metal case. Um, That uh, has the added benefit of being dummy proof. Goodness gracious. Uh, there we go. <laughs> All right. So you pop that sucker open, and uh, this is what we got. So, for those who are not familiar, like, like me, for the sake of example, uh, what you do is, like, let's say uh, the bolt hole was an M5, you would use everything that's in the M5 kit, which is this stuff right here. And so the way it works, unless I watch the internet wrong, is you take the drill bit and you drill out the hole, put it back, and then you then tap the hole using this. Um, I don't know if you guys have done this before. I've done it once on a uh, uh, lawnmower engine. Uh, it's not a very fun job, but it's not hard either. So tap it with that. And then that actually makes it so those threads that you tapped then use you then screw in one of these inserts and the inside of this insert is the uh, size of the bolt that you need to use. So that's the plan. I'm going to use this kit and repair the uh, threads and the uh, the nice thing about this job is uh, I'll get to learn how to re-thread something and it's on a, a component that's not uh, not that valuable because you know it's just a, just a transmission <laughs> what's the worst that could happen <laughs> I actually saw a couple other ways to do it um, but I, this is something I actually really wanted to learn how to do so it's a good ex opportunity for me to learn how to do it um, and uh, you know it's been snowing slash raining all day today, so I wasn't able to mow today. I'm not going to be able to mow tomorrow. And uh, so we'll see. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up, so this video is going up on Friday. Uh, I've got some other stuff that's already scheduled that's going to be posted. Uh, this probably is not going to get done before Thanksgiving. We'll see. Probably, but I, I, I really doubt it's going to get put up before Thanksgiving. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, excited about doing this. See.